Hashtag Ask Goji Man, what's the best diet for healing the gut? All these ex-vegans are making me think that I should try a high meat diet to fix my health issues. What are your thoughts on this? Great question, let's get to it, roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. It's good to see you all again. If you haven't met before, then hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently finishing a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year I'll be studying for a PhD in nutritional science. Now I think it's fairly obvious to most that your health is massively dictated by your gut health and your gut health is massively dictated by what you eat and expose your body to in terms of chemicals and toxins. Now you can obviously get both good and bad bacteria in the gut and you can think of good bacteria as anti-inflammatory and dysbiosis or bad bacteria as inflammatory in the gut. So if you want great health, then obviously you need to start with no inflammation in the gut so it can heal and operate optimally. And remember that these gut issues are a result of antibiotic use, poor diets, pesticides, and even stress. So it's not that the food is necessarily a problem, it's that your body doesn't have the right tools to break down everything correctly. When you rebalance your gut flora in the right way, when you feed the gut by giving it the nutrients that it needs, all of these other health issues driven by the gut will subside. Now, as per the title of this video, let me explain why the vegan diet is the only diet capable of fixing the underlying gut issues and what happens in the gut when you try and fix these issues by going high meat or meat only in your diet. So let's start with the meat issue. So if you have gut issues like vegetable police and many of those ex-vegans, if you do go carnivore or high meat with only minimal fiber, this is what will happen. At first, you will probably get a massive reduction in your symptoms. You will initially feel great. And then after a period of time, your gut flora will start being dominated by species like bilophilia, which is highly inflammatory. And as a result, other species and strains like lactobacillus won't be prevalent enough in the guts to properly regulate things like histamine. So then after a period of time, your body will then start reacting to the meat as your body won't be breaking it down correctly. And then you are really in trouble because you will have no safe foods to eat and you will react to everything that you eat. So now you are in a situation where you have lots of inflammatory bacteria in your gut, you are eating high amounts of meat and fat, and then the bacteria you do have in your gut are taking nutrients from the meat, dairy and eggs, such as choline and carnitine, and converting this into inflammatory compounds such as ammonia and trimethylamine oxide, or TMAO. And if you want to avoid cancer, heart disease, and all of those other nasties, then ammonia and TMAO are not things that you want in your body in any great amount. Now, if you've gone high meat or carnivore because of health and digestive issues on a vegan diet, and you don't believe what I am saying, take a Lipocalin 2 test and measure the amount of inflammation in your gut. So people like vegetable police get a massive reduction in their symptoms, and then the gut flora changes to the inflammatory species, then the inflammation really starts skyrocketing and then you start struggling with histamines, etc. So as with vegetable police, you will start getting skin issues and like some other well-known carnivore dices, you will start developing histamine type issues. Then the issues will simply get worse and worse over time. Now the only way you can heal the gut properly is to get rid of the bad bacteria, heal the gut, feed the gut the right nutrients, so fiber, so they can produce those essential short chain of fatty acids, so the inflammation comes down and your immune system starts firing properly. How you doing you guys? Thought I would come to you, a bit, come to you with a video a couple of weeks after my last one talking about how I was down in the dumps and how I ordered these tests in order to fix my health. Up until now, basically, the main instructions that I've been using for myself and giving to you guys in order to heal uh, various skin issues has been very broad and general and, um, and in a small part sort of misguided. So I want to try to correct that and re-guide myself but also help you guys gain some uh, proper guidance as opposed to another general recommendation to help heal um, your specific skin issue. I stick firmly to a whole foods plant-based diet but I also want to be sure that you're using it the right way. And um, I was eating, I'm eating the healthiest diet I've eaten in my life and I'm just having no success with coming out of this disease. I can't eat myself out of this. So I thought I'm going to work a little smarter instead of harder. Um, this isn't a matter of forcing the diet, it's a matter of actually diagnosing myself with a problem so I can use the tools properly to fix it. Let's say even if I didn't use a vegan diet, it'd be 
stupid to not get a diagnosis before you know making a protocol you have to know what your problem is before you can fix it anyway whether you use my diet plan or you use somebody else's you still have to know what you're dealing with I only have a few more days to maybe a week or two before I get results in and then from there I can actually uh, have some hard evidence of what to do next so I got the urine test on the 28th so about like a week ago or so and I sent it out you just pee in a vial um, ship it to them and then they run a series of tests on the urine looking at bacteria uh, vitamin and mineral and nutrient content in your urine and then looking at compounds if they're showing up in your urine where it shouldn't be then that's the marker like hey that shit's not supposed to be there you gotta look into that so that's the kind of stuff I'm gonna get back on my test the other thing is the stool test I had to shit in a little french fry cardboard box and scoop that into little bottles that is honestly the most disturbing shit I've had to do so far like <clears throat> I don't even want to think about enemas one thing I want to preface one thing that I feel has clarified in my mind after watching Goji Man's videos, the guy's a nutritionist, runs you down with some hardcore nutritional and medical uh, evidence and advice, I realize I've been a fucking ninny this whole time. I should have gotten tested, I should have gone to a functional doctor, told them my symptoms, given them the, you know, I want to do this on a vegan diet, a whole foods plant-based diet, um, these are my issues. Um, help me resolve them, run some urine and feces tests or stool tests and uh, tell me what to do because I'm 99% sure a functional doctor could do what Goji Man does. You don't have to do go through him only. And I could have worked this out sooner rather than later. Now I'm here almost oh, two years into this and, uh, and I, this could have been over with a lot sooner. How certain am I that they're going to give me the answer and help me reverse my eczema? Um, 85% sure? Something like that? It's a lot more sure than before when I was reading blogs and watching YouTube videos and doing all this shit on my own guessing in the dark. That shit can only take you so far. I spent near a thousand dollars on these tests and shipping. Um, is it worth it? Absolutely. Um, what else would you spend a thousand dollars on? Like, if somebody came to me and said, hey, for a thousand dollars, I can tell you what's wrong with you, how to fix it, and prevent it from happening. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course I would take that offer. I would take that in a heartbeat. But because it takes time, it takes research, it takes, um, it takes evaluating whether you think that this is worth your time and money, people start to second guess. And, um, guess what, you know, this is... 2018 we've got some scientific shit out there hopefully something as simple as skin disease can be tracked down with some urine and stool samples I find it hard to believe that it's not gonna uncover something that'll help me you know people are reversing cancer diabetes um, and other health complications using a whole foods plant-based diet um, what do they have in common um, they're getting tested they're using medical advice and they're following the diet appropriate to the disease that they've been diagnosed with. So working smarter, not harder, right? Good. Don't do fucking enemas. Don't do water fast. Don't do juice fast. Don't do any of these fucking detoxes or cleanses or any of these quick fixes. It doesn't matter if it's a drug or if it's a natural thing. This is just a quick fix. It doesn't have to come in a bottle or an ointment or any of these things to be disguised as a quick fix. A quick fix is something that you have diagnosed for yourself and have determined that this is going to help reverse your thing. Um, what you want is a sustainable option. You want to find out what your problem is, use a whole foods plant-based diet appropriately to fix it, and then do follow-ups, do checkups. Ensure that you are keeping this away. What am I going to do after I get this test and I'm on the right track to healing and I see heal, I see um, recovery? I'm going to get tested every six months with these, um, with only one of the tests. So that's going to be 300 bucks um, every six months, 600 bucks a year. I can spare that money to ensure that I don't get eczema um, every six months as I have for the last years and years and years of my life. So don't do the quick fixes. 
put in the time, put in the, you know, research, put in the money, figure this out, uproot the cause, don't use the enemas, the detoxes, all this bullshit. This stuff has done very little for me, if I'm being very honest. What is doing a lot for me right now is uh, going to an expert to figure out the problem so that we can fix it together in a shorter, more educated manner. Hope that helps. See you guys in the next video. Um, stay positive and uh, leave your comments. Peace.